Welcome to The Eclectic Thrifter and Crafter, where we thrift and craft with purpose. It's Tea Tuesday. Or in my world, Crafty Tuesday. Hello. Well, today I've got a Blue Willow Cup that I thrifted last week for $3. I've always wanted a Blue Willow Cup. There's nothing particularly fancy about the make. It's just the pattern that I was after. So I was very happy. And in addition that day, I think this was a dollar and a half in the end, was this wonderful little Redware Brown Betty. Now I looked this particular one up and I only found one picture and it said it was very rare and I'm trying to hunt down the maker but this is going to go in my china cabinet. It is one of those little items that's been on my wish list. Now inside there are holes for straining. You can't see them very well but I have to clean it because there must be several generations of tea resin in the bottom of that spout. So it's going to take me a little while to get that cleaned out. We won't use it today, but I'm just delighted to found it. So let's have some chai tea. It seems to be my thing the last couple of weeks. And this is why I got the Blue Willow Cup. This is just a book. It's a copy of a book that my sister-in-law, who's a librarian, had given me years and years ago, but we moved so much that somehow in all the moving, the little book was lost. And I finally replaced it a couple of years ago. It is really a good book if you ever have a chance to read it. And my son is much, much better. I thought I'd tell you that. We're going to get started on the dollhouse furniture a little bit here today. So let's have a sip of tea and we'll head down to the garage and take a look at the sander that arrived. And there it is. It is a little bit bigger than I anticipated, but we'll find a home for it on the shelf. That is going to help us out a lot for several projects. Let's see, you can never have enough clamps, that's for sure. Julia Child, it was butter. With Catherine, it's clamps. And yes, this is a lot of yardsticks. It is perfect cracked wood to utilize throughout the build. The doors will mainly be made of the yardsticks. They are the perfect width and the perfect thickness for what I'm looking for. And there's no sanding. Now we're back upstairs and we're going to get started on a couple of pieces. Let's take a look at this little brass bed and this is pillow ticking that I have tucked away. So we'll take a few minutes and make our first mattress. This is that recycled denim that I purchased about a month ago. And we'll use this throughout the build for various stuffings. So slowly but surely I'll work on a little quilt and some sheets for the little bed also. But there we are, we at least have the mattress done. 
and we'll have to make some pillows soon. Now we're going to clean off the excess broken mirror from the little wash basin and get that repaired. Now one of the faucets is broken and you'll see on the rest of the little items for the bathroom they're missing handles and faucets. So it's going to take some creativity on my part to recreate all those little items. And you may not see the results of that for a little while. It will take some thought. Right there, everything's broken off. Now we're going to move on to the new mirror. Let's put a little tape on there and stabilize it. Just take a moment and we can get it all measured. And as long as we're going to be measuring and cutting the reflective surface, we're going to repair another additional little item today. There we are. Now we're going to work on the little tea tray. I was so happy with this reflective surface that when I get the little fireplace all sanded nice and neat and a mantle put on it, I'm going to make a mirror for above the fireplace. The bed and that fireplace are intended for a little bedroom that is going to be called the Princess Amanda. And I'm looking forward to furnishing that. As I still make plans for the build, we're going to bounce around to various different rooms and make various different things. It just depends on what strikes my fancy that week as far as what I want to work on. My son will have a lot of schoolwork to catch up on after being so ill. So probably just as spring is starting to come into bloom, we'll be working more on the build itself. But we'll hop around and do some fun little projects. See how creative we can be with everyday items. Thank you for joining me for a little cup of tea and a visit. Please share in the comments below and let me know if there's something special you'd like me to make for the house and I'll give it my best try. Like and subscribe. Share my thrifting and crafting channel with your thrifting and crafting friends. Tap that notification button for upcoming announcements for thrifts and crafts. But most of all, have a lovely, lovely day.